Okay, here's a simple example. A force of 450 newtons is applied to a mass of 120 kilograms. Find the acceleration of the mass. So let's just draw a little picture. This could be anything. All we have is a mass. It could be any mass. So let's make a little cart here with some people riding in it. And someone's pushing. Okay, and we're told that a force of 450 newtons, so this force, that's the force this guy's pushing with. So I'll draw an arrow there, a vector, an arrow to represent the force, and I'll call it F. And it's applied to this mass of 120 kilograms, so I'll put M on this. And that would be the, that buggy and the people together. That's a total mass. That's the mass that's being pushed by this force. And it causes, an, causes it to accelerate. And I usually draw my acceleration vector. I draw a little arrow and call it A. But I don't usually attach it to the mass right there. Just because you think of the guy pushing the, the, the mass here, he actually touches it to push. There's a physical contact there. And if, if I draw the arrow, the acceleration arrow attached, it almost looks like that arrow is pulling it as well. And I don't want you to confuse this arrow with a force. So I'm just, I'm just writing that to indicate that it accelerates. And um, so that's just a little visual picture to help us see what's going on. And here we find the acceleration with our equation. A is F over M. And we put in the numbers for F. F is 450 newtons, and the M is 120 kilograms. And we do the math. 450 divided by 120 comes out to 3.75. And if your force is in newtons and your mass is in kilograms, then your acceleration will come out to be in meters per second squared. So I still haven't told you what a newton is. We'll, we'll see that next.